Yo, what's up everyone? This is Rise Dream here back with another video with you guys. I apologize for being a little extra loud, but um great morning today. Um I think um the second day of the summer event. I think it's like August. It's August 10th. And um hope everybody event is going well so far. Just two down. And eight more to go just to get the event feel because we won't. But anyway, today I'm gonna do something a little different doing this event since I already got two of them done. Waiting for the third one. Uh, I think on the eleventh. So today, I just want to present you guys with the jumbo, um, the 76 jumbo at that. This is, I don't know any history background of this tank. All I know is, it's extra armor and beefy. And what it is, is basically to me is a, of course it says right there, M4A3E2, but it's an M4A3 with add-on armor. Okay, they, out, they always add an E something, E2, extra, probably extra armor but in any a but anyway it's a m4 a3 e2 76 millimeter water um i think what um water cool i don't know i know it's storage and water so it won't get ammo rack but anyway let's talk about the armor the armor of this tank is 110 101 millimeters um sloped armor and that sloped armor is pretty good angled slightly um this tank armor is um the okay the 75 so recently this tank was up tiered from 5.7 to 6.0 and i justified that this tank should not be at this br because you have so num number one it shouldn't be at this br because its armor is not very comp it can't bounce that many rounds towards like high higher calibers 88 the the uh, long 75 from the german size long 88 um short 88 is fine but not the short but the 88 the regular 88 is fine but all the other cannon rounds like um i think the is2 rounds cannot it cannot really stop any rounds from there I'm, that's that's okay I'm, I'm okay with that but when it come down to the german aspect you're gonna be versing them the most and i feel like this tank should not be 6.0 because it up to a lot to 6.7 and sometimes 7.0 but it's really you you rarely see 7.0 you mostly see 5.7 still but it'd be above 6.0 you get 6.3 6.7 and possibly 7.0 and this tank should not be at this battery ring because uh number one um its armor is not is not really outstanding number two the gun is not not meant for this br as well too and number three it's it's only got one strong point and that's the front of the turret everything else is very vulnerable so as you can see um it still got the the original sherman layout on here the um you got the you got a 63 millimeter plate underneath this sheet i can't really get it but it's a 63 millimeter plate under this sheet and let me see if i can get it for you there you go 63 oh that's 30 63 millimeter plate and they added an extra 40 millimeters of armor and that gave it 101 slope angle this um this slope does a lot of that like it does a lot i'm gonna show you so slope it gives you over 180 millimeters of uh protection angle it just a little bit um uh, still 180 still 180 possibly 200 yada 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 the turret, the turret is the, the best point. It's very, it's very impenetrable. It's very trolly. Um, it's hard to get through it. Uh, only places people get through it is probably, probably right here, like down here into like the, like, it's like right here. It's like a little weak spot under the turret, um, on the turret mantle in between, like around like the, um, the neck area. It's, it's, you can, it's hard to shoot. It's hard to get to it. Then... The other weak spot is right here in the gunner's port. And if they would have deleted this, I would have been fine with it. But, you know, history shows that they didn't delete it over time. They, they really need it as a front, you know, front yard pusher. Then as you come down to the sides, that's where it shows mainly its weak points. This side is not reinforced. This side is. This is very reinforced. But this side is not reinforced to the point it cannot take heavy rounds like people just shoot right here and go through it mainly um usually like it's very easy to go through um so i'm gonna try to show you guys how to play this tank 
and what I like about it so what I like about it is that you can bounce extra rounds but bad news is it's it's not very that good because you got a main weak spot right there and on the sides it's the it's the lower front it's the lower plate and it go right through the whole tank and their ammo too so let's take it out I got extra tanks around next to me is a M4A1 76 and two plane show you my little game skills so I set my game flying skills to the simulation skill like um, setup so hopefully they go good for you guys um, so I can show RB plane I hate planes and RB but anyway let's get to it guys the jumbo 76 um, one last thing I, I really I really think this shouldn't be fab 6.0 I think it should be 5.7 and I believe it should be a medium tank. If, if, if it's going to be a 6.0, it should be classified as a medium tank. And so as the the Jumbo, what is it? At? The Jumbo 75. It should be classified as a medium tank as well. Um, because, ooh, wrong one. It's just add-on armor. Ain't nothing really different about it. Like, this shouldn't be 5.3. This should stay at 5.0. This went from 4.7 to 5.3 so quickly. And I believe this shouldn't be at this BR, but um, I guess data shows that it need to be up this high. But yeah, that's that's this shouldn't be this high, and so shouldn't the um the 76 one as well, because it's very it's very obsolete at that BRs, and you can still play this, but it's just so much effort just to get a kill with it. So further ado, guys, let's get to the which one are you? I think it was this one. Yeah, further ado, guys, let's get to the video. Do I got smoke? I don't think I got smoke unlocked. But um, the main rounds I mainly take with this tank is the AP, of course, APHE rounds, and the APCR. The APCR is for the up, upper, higher tier vehicles. Like you, you, you see Tiger Twos at this VR, and Tiger Twos are very hard to get to. Like Tiger Two H's, not just the P, the H's. And the other thing you deal with a lot is the Yag Panthers. You cannot, you cannot, you can't, you can't kill a Yag Panther. You cannot kill a Tiger. You cannot kill um, any other tank because of. So we be quiet. Eat. It's like you gotta fear so much vehicles in this, um, in this tank. So what my main focus is, is try to just get a, a secure ground, hunker down, and try to do my best from there. Nice, let's kill. The good thing about this, it still got that, you know, that stabilized, that gyro, is it gyro stabilized? It, it, it still work okay, it's not the best as always. Look at Tiger 2. I cannot deal any damage to this tank without the style armor. And let's see if it gave me that, that opportunity. Did that Tiger 2 go past? Tiger. Give me that. I'll take that too. No! That's another thing. Planes. How do you see me? Did I kill you? On to the backups. So I recommend. I, I wish guys didn't just lower this BR to 5.7. Was original BR was getting up to it to 6.7, 7.0 is not pretty fun for this tank at all, and it don't make sense for it to be that high. 
Um, it can still dish out enough damage, but you got to play so strategic and quiet and stuff because this armor is very, it's nothing. It's basically back to a regular Sherman paint. Um, yeah, like, ain't nothing really changed about it. It's the same Sherman paint if it can up to it as high because this, this upper front plank do not mean anything to nobody at the VR, at higher VRs as well. Um, the only thing it could probably face against that's very competitive with this tank, finally it, it can compete with a little bit, it's the Panther. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? Like, so I can't move, like I can't aim at his turret, like I don't know why my team didn't shoot him, like they had an opportunity to kill him. I D-Day. This is what we mainly shine at right here on this map right here. So yeah, that was a horrible first. Well, it wasn't that bad. We got two and a half kills, I think. But this tank could be so much better, I believe. But as you see, we down to, and I believe it's Matia. Got another jumbo over there. So that's one bad thing I'm doing right now. I'm playing on an event. The event is um the summer event and of course is spams of hellcats and um yeah so we can't expect too much help in this on this um on this map we can see what we can do oh yeah and one more thing i do not use um yeah camouflage i hate using that stuff because i like seeing my tank more than i hate being cliche or a simp but I like seeing my tank for what it is historically. Like I know it's some that is like it's my phone. I know it's some that is like that look different. Yeah, tank to my right. Yep. Draw right there turns into the mess. He shoot at me or somebody else. I feel bad for him. <laughs> Luck on my side. Hit my own engine. Nope, I don't hit my engine. Is somebody made me flanking on this map? <laughs> See him. See me almost mess me up. I'm so quiet this round. Blender a load of note. Oh, I'm dead. T T twenty, you don't see this? All it is is chrome. And it's a nice little chrome skin. It's T. The thing about this T20, he don't, he don't know that he's actually a strong tank. He got speed. He got that nice little armor, and he don't know that. So that's on him. You out the way, so. Like, I, see, that's the weak spot I was telling you about. I can't. I can't angle it too much so you can shoot the other side. I, I don't get it. I don't really get it. I don't get it. And I can't spawn into a tank, so. Let's see if I can flank again and get those three kills that I could have. Like, look at this dude. He's been sitting in his spawn for like the last. He's not doing nothing, just sitting here. Move. Do something. You just sitting here. What's the whole point? You're not seeing anything no more. Move. The whole point is just sitting there, man. You sitting here the whole match. You don't need to be right here.
don't like people that do that, man. You see, we got C. And you didn't help me when I when when I needed help. Looking down this road. So what's the whole point of sitting there? That's that's my that's why I did that. That's why I did that for sure. What, what, what did you do? Now you want to help? Nah, I don't need your help. The stupid SPA. I got the moves. I make a I got the moves. I got the moves. Well, I get shot. Oh, look, you got killed. That's what I mean, G. Like, how do you defeat that tank? I know it's weak spots. I know. But you see how hard it was to hit that weak spot? With the... That's a fat 6.0 tank. A medium tank. So why is the jumbo a heavy tank? That's, that tank is stronger than the jumbo. Cover me, cover me. The frozen tundra feeling. Ooh. Since I got this turret, I might go to my little sniping spot over B. So far nothing. So far something. Where'd it go? all white so I can't really see it. That's dead. They got a white camouflage so I can't see it. Tank. Get this transmission. Missed the transmission. That's great. That's the shot I wanted. See? Like, this is supposed to be an easy opponent. Yeah. It's like it's so many German things we can't kill face on. I guess I'm just complaining so much. Like this tank could do a two or three burst speed in a neutral steering is not up to par to counter such m maneuvers like that. So it's like you don't want to get too close, but you want to be close. And it's strange how to how to put that. Because it's like if you too close. Ooh, that, that's a somebody good kill. If you too close, um, they they can easily get the weak spot. But if you too, they can easily get your weak spot. They can easily flank around you. But if you like close enough, they can't really. You can wiggle. You got wiggle room, and plus like time to like actually get your shots on target to get them finishing kills and stuff like that okay then get bombed let's get moving my turret twice 
And that's why he didn't penetrate. That's hilarious. I, I can't see where he shot me yet. Oh my god, I'm so stuck. This lighting is to the right. Of course. He missed me. And yeah, uh, yep. Let's go on it, guys. Just two kills each round. I'm having the worst luck now. And look, he dies after he kills me. I hate that so much. All right, we end up playing, guys. Ooh, this is a perfect time, too. Battle of the Bows type of view. P51 D5 Mustang. With a thousand pound bombs. On the verge of saving Private Ryan from a Tiger tank. Oh, what was that? Nice. Uh, I should go in and get some more bombs. Perfect landing. Perfect landing. Ah, look at that. This looks so good. It sounds so real. Turn this around so we can get it back out there to save our team. Could we finna lose? America. Do not pick America for events because stuff like this happened. Yeah. Yeah, M18, 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 P47. Um, that's it. America is not it, guys. Please stop using them. If you don't know how to use the M18, if you don't know how to play as a team, do not pick them. Because this that don't make sense. They so busy trying to cap and and dip out like right now keep playing get a kill stay in that kit get the cap get the kills and play then you could dip out Ooh, flaps as there you have it i know it's a tough look clip but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i like the jumbo i really do um i liked it when it was down tier more before like the br was different now it's just um it's collecting dust for me i don't really enjoy it that much like this used to be my go-to before the m20 the t26 persian before i unlocked it but now it's like it, it's lost its way it lost its, it's not respect but it's lost its um value um uh, compared to make it an influence on the battle like yeah you still got that armor yeah you still got that package but it's still it's too easy to, to defeat and I was upset because the guys just kept saying that it is very, it's very hard to kill this vehicle. Um, I get killed countless times over and over again. And it's like, it's, it, it's easy to kill this vehicle. Because they all go for the same weak spot. They go for under the mantlet, this weak spot. And if, I'm, if I can't angle, if I'm not angled, they can go right through it. If I don't, if I do angle, they can go through this. So it's like, this tank got plenty of weak spots. And so many flaws that you, it's so it's just re, it's ridiculous, but it's still weak spots that's very visible and very easy to shoot. From a distance, yes, it's pretty hard to kill this tank. That's good, but from close range, it's so easy to kill this tank. And most of the maps that this tank get is close range because its gun cannot fire at long range and do afflictive damage to any opponent that it faces. Like the guy says, the T34 turret is so. 
ridiculous that it's like how do you defeat a T eighty four from a distance? Yeah, if it if it's hold down. Hold down you can't shoot nothing except this turret. So you gotta get that perfect cheek shot. Then with the the same thing for Panthers and Tigers, like you can't really do any damage, so you're not what? So what you gotta do? Push, right? And that's what this tank fails at. It cannot make the offensive approach without taking a risk of getting hit by its weak spots. Because this gun is obsolete to those that it faces. It, it, it's a gun, it's it's okay. But to those, it's not a bigger threat. It's not a threat to them. They would take out a 90 millimeter before they take out you because you're easier. They would shoot, for example, the M26. Of course they would kill the M26 because that technically got the same armor but better. But for, okay, for another example, the, the M36, compared to this they would take out the m36 first because it's firepower it's firepower is strong so imagine i wish we had that tank the m36 b1 but we don't have it we stuck with a jumbo and the jumbo is not that once that much a threat at 6.0 7.0 6.7, 6.3, 6 6.0, 5.7. It's not much a threat. 5.7, I, I give it that. It is a threat. Because it's it's a lineup that you had deleted from everybody. The 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 um T25 stabilizer. The the jumbo. The 76 jumbo. You have the the um m18s i understand the lineup was toxic but it's the only way that that america can keep up with all the exponents because it's like you're not giving us much to like to to work with you took away our air superiority because you took away our rockets then after the rockets you made it um uh, you gave other enemies more fighters and stuff like that to oppose us so it's like america can't really do much at this br no more yes it's more balance i guess but in the aspect of balance you run in another tier i'll talk too much about my videos well guys if you want more information about this br and this tank and stuff like that about the american tech tree lineups and stuff like that compared to all the other tech tree lineups let me know in the comments below and how can we fix them um, I would like to make I will I, I will enjoy making videos on that because it's really exciting to me to do something like that But um, I'm sorry for not giving you the most exciting gameplay like woohoo waha Whoa killed them like nah, I'm I'm very chill relaxed person. And I like to play the game not to I do get a, a, a set I will show you that I will show my rage woman in the video for you guys But further ado, I do I do, still do enjoy this tank. I do miss this tank, but I feel like it has been pushed aside with the meta because it is it got good armor it got a, a decent gun it got kind of okay with mobility but it's not the tank that you, you would pick first to um to inflict force upon your enemy so that's it for you guys i'll see you guys in the next video video hopefully it's a good one a good idea come i'm doing a summer event and i'm very exhausted so I'm finna go take a snap and it's 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, guys, I had a good breakfast. Hope you did too, or a good lunch, whatever time you're watching this. Now, let you guys have a good day, man. All right, peace.